there were high hopes for Skyway. Alam mo yan? Like, oh, when Skyway opens yeah, up, yeah, 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 it's yeah. gonna decongest everything, blah, 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 di ba? Uh, and then it opened up. It did kind of like, while, yeah, right? for a little while, but mm. now I think, uh, I don't know, just, I feel like we we always fall back to like a rotation of, okay. I don't know. What you're, there, there's a saying for that, or a term. Yeah. It's called induced demand. Uh-huh. This is why I'm not a big supporter to build more roads. Oh, okay. When I say that, let me qualify, because it's not as easy as not building roads. We need, <laughs> we need roads. We'll be very bad if we cut you off right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. We'll James be back on this break. This <laughs> is like new roads. <laughs> no roads. <laughs> um, well, no roads, no traffic. <laughs> um, induced demand. Yeah. If you're in a city as congested as Metro Manila, mm. um, Building more roads is like getting a, a bigger belt to solve a weight problem. Uh-huh. It, it, it's it's not going to yeah okay yeah it'll Tama, yeah but it'll you're fascinated. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, now yeah. what all you're doing when you build a new road in a place that's already at capacity, which we're at capacity, mm. is it's induced demand. Now there's going to be more people using that road mm. and more people generally because you've given them a space to use yeah. it and a space hey a vacuum hates needs to be filled mm-hmm. filled. People will use that. And before you know it, you're at the baseline again. Do you understand? So, so, so we let's just come say, back. We just come back I'll just it, throw yeah. numbers. Yeah. Let's say so, you have 1 million cars. Then you build a skyway that's capable of 100,000 cars. Mm. Well, now you have 1.1 million cars. So the traffic's still the same, but now you have more volume. <laughs> oh, so where the disclaimer comes in is building roads that lead outside, circumferential mm. roads that go, ring roads that, that bypass. Okay. Those make sense. Okay. Getting out of the city. For sure. Yeah, it's good. But gets. if you're just gonna create more spider webs in the city, tama, tama. yeah, and say, oh, we can fit a road in yeah, here. It's just wow. gonna go to the same places That's anyway. It. Yeah, yeah. And then what is what you have to understand too is, is we're living uh, the roads are a, a one dimensional or two dimensional. Mm. We live in a three dimensional r- world. Yeah, so, yeah. So you imagine when every time you build a building up here mm. of fifty stories, they all converge to that one footprint. Yeah. That's they the all footprint. enter there, they all exit there, yeah. Yeah, uh. because when they all go and use the roads, mm. that footprint of this big is all being added, but it's going, and we can only build, yeah, or maybe two stories at the most with a skyway. Uh. We're not building 50-story roads. Mm. So you can understand every building that you add to Metro oh, Manila. Oh, God, yeah. That's and what you're dealing with. One being added all the time. One being added yeah. all the time. And this is, again, in my opinion, it's, it's, it's very horrible planning. Yeah. Because you should be saying, look, at, at, at some point, Metro Manila, sorry, we're full. Mm. Okay? The only thing we can do now is renovate uh-huh. and make things more efficient. But we cannot build anything new anymore yeah. because it's just we are at capacity.